It's time to upgrade the RAM on my Dell Inspire 15, 5515 touch laptop. So I just got these in the mail the other day and I'm excited to finally install it. These are the Team Group 32 gigabytes, 2 by 16 gigabytes, 32 megahertz DDR4 laptop RAM. So it comes in this nice little container. So let me go ahead and unbox it and show you guys the difference. It's different shape for the laptop versus your regular standard desktop RAM. So you have, so they aren't compatible with each other, right? Ooh, man. <laughs> I thought I broke it. All right, here we go. The packaging right here. So as you can see, comparing the size, there are different uh, dim and size that you see right there. Okay, so it, it looks like two of these probably make up one of these. I can finally shut down the computer to remove the cover and install the new RAM. Located on the bottom of my Dell Inspiron 15, 5515 touch laptop are nine little tiny screws. And whenever I deal with tiny screws, I like to use my Jacami 164 pieces precision screwdriver set because you have all these varying sizes for tiny little projects. This comes in super handy, especially with computing. So let's go ahead and remove these screws carefully and make sure you don't lose them. So it appears these little two end screws do not come off. And I'm gonna use this little pry tool to go along and just pry it open until the cover becomes uh, removable. So as you walk around it, it's gonna, you can hear a snap sound because uh, it has these tabs which retains its, uh, see here that, you see that coming apart. See? And then we're gonna work ourselves to the back here. It takes patience and some time, but be careful. Okay, once I have it, oh, look, there it is. First time opening up my laptop, there it is. Now would be a good time to familiarize yourself with the laptop and all the components. I believe that's a battery right there. It looks like the fan needs a little bit cleaning. So I'm gonna wipe that down with some towel. And located right here, depending on which orientation you have it. But anyway, you see these two flaps, protect the sleeves. This is covering, protecting the RAM right here. So it's 16 gigabyte of RAM. And these, these little tabs are a little bit different than the desktop uh, tabs to uh, take out and to install the directions are right here it looks like i have it upside down so after reversing the orientation do you see it that's how you would remove the tab okay like i said clean the fan i'm just using a little q-tip i actually have a better idea just use a toothbrush a new soft bristle toothbrush. You see how that easily gets rid of dust? Yeah, that's the way to do it. And give it a good blow. So according to instructions, fold up on the tab and pull out on these two metallic clips right here. And then you see how that, you see how that's loose now? And then, oh, you see that? You can move it at a 45 degrees angle. So remember how it goes in, okay? Similarly with the other side, pull the two tabs, it lifts up, and it goes in like this. It looks like they are uh, 
different orientation. So I'm going to keep that in mind, all right? All right, I'm ready to install the RAM, same orientation. So try to press it in there, an angle, until you push it down a little bit. Don't forget the tabs, okay? The tabs should, should close out. I think this one is in good because I heard it snap. Okay, so for the other side, it's gonna be this. Similarly, okay, press it at an angle until you can bend that down. I think these two are in. Here's the final confirmation. Before I put the cover back on, I'm just going to show you guys the tabs. Okay. And put all the screws back in and snap it and shut. It should be good to go. To ensure that everything has been assembled right and snapped in right, you see everything is pretty much flush. Now we can finally switch on the laptop. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm actually surprised it asked me. Memory changer. I thought this would be a direct plug and play. So, let's say... Looks like you're going to have to find your recovery key. I know mine. Have to enter. It looks like it's starting up right now. So far so good. No errors. Okay, for the moment of truth. So this started up, that means it recognized the RAM. Because if you didn't install it properly, it would not even start up. There you see it, 32 gigabyte of RAM, thank goodness.